Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a bow that I've been wanting to do for ages for you guys. It's a gorgeous style and of course I'm going to be using some heart ribbon because we've got Valentine's Day coming up and I've chosen to pair this patterned ribbon with black. You can pick any colour out of this. I could have picked a red or the white or the black but I love black. I don't know why, I've just always liked black in a bow and I think that really makes this ribbon pop with the black as well. So that is what I'm going to be using today. These three are for my tails or my spikes, whatever you want to call them. And these eight pieces here are for the main body of the bow. So for the tails, you will need three pieces for the tails. And this is a one and a half inch wide ribbon or four centimeter wide. And I've cut all three pieces to 15 centimeters in length three pieces for the tails and as you can see I've already cut these two into spikes I'll show you how I did that with the third one in a moment and then I've used four patterned ribbon and four plain black these are all one and a half inch or four centimeter wide and these are all cut to 18 centimeters in length so that's four patterned and four plain so we're going to begin with our tails. So I've already cut two of my 15 centimeter pieces into spikes. I'll show you how I did that with this third one. So I haven't heat sealed the end yet because I still need to cut the spikes in. So to do that, I'm going to fold that end in half and then from this open corner, I'm going to cut that corner off diagonally. So from this outer corner, I'm going to go a diagonal cut like that and I like to curve mine a little bit just to soften the edges and then opening up the end so they're not touching taking a lighter you're just going to heat seal those ends to prevent fraying and the reason I have it open a bit is because if I heat sealed it with them touching that would bond the ends together because that would sort of melt them together and that just gives that nice sort of curved spiky tail look so do the same with the opposite end, so from the outer corner, cut inwards, open up those tails so they're not touching, and then heat seal. And the good thing is about doing it this way, you can heat seal both edges at once. And that is how I do my tails. And then I'm going to line all three pieces up. Fold them in half to find the centre. Just pop a pin in that centre. And then I'm going to space these out like that, just fan them out. I'm going to have them overlapping slightly. And then I'm going to sew across this center. I've got a needle and thread here, so I'm going to go in through this outer edge. Two, three, four, five, six. Remove that pin. Pull that tight to form that pinch. And just wrap that around that center a few times and then on the underside I'm just going to seal that off by going in and then in this loop a couple of times and that will just form a knot and hold that all together And that is your spikes for underneath the bow ready. We're just going to set those aside for later. And then next with our remaining pieces, you need to heat seal all of your ends on all eight pieces to prevent frying. And then we're just gonna set two patterned 
and two black aside. So beginning with two patterned and two plain. I've got some UHU all purpose adhesive and I'm going to join a patterned piece to a plain piece. So with my hearts the right way up and my pattern on this one is on the right side and my plane on the left. I'm just gonna pop some glue along that very edge. And then take my pattern piece and just bring those two together. It don't matter by how much you overlap, I'm doing mine around just over half a centimetre, like that. And then with the other two, you want your patterned ribbon on the left this time and your plane on the right. So again, I'm going to just pop a little bit of my all-purpose glue along the edge. I'm going to overlap those two to bring them together. And then before that completely set, I'm just going to line these up to make sure that they're the correct length. You want these both the same length. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps with the other pieces of ribbon. So now we have them all joined together. So now instead of having eight pieces, we've got four continuous pieces. Now, if you wanted to use just one color for this bow, you can, that would work. So if you do one colour bow, you want to cut four pieces at around 35 centimetres in length. And then you don't have to obviously join it in the middle because you can just have one continuous piece in the same colour. So to start off with, we're going to take our piece here with our patterned ribbon on the right and the hearts are facing the right way up. And then we're just going to pick this up and then with this pattern side, we're going to fold that towards the centre and then twist that upwards. So I'll just show you that again. My hearts are the correct way up facing towards me. I'm going to pick this up, fold it inwards and then twist it up. And then I'm going to line this edge up with the top of this ribbon here. And this edge is lined up with the edge of the patterned ribbon. And then I'm just going to grab one of my clips, which I've got close by, and I'm just going to clip that together to hold that in place. And then with our plain side, we're going to fold that backwards, making sure that the fold is in line with that edge. And then we're going to take this tail end and tuck that through this gap and then we're going to bring that up and twist it up as well and also line that up with that edge and I'm just going to take that clip off and pop that on there to hold it in place and once you're happy that's lined up, you can then take a pin and just pin that together. Now, when you flip this over, this is going to be your top side. And as you can see, the hearts are the correct way up and this folded edge should be your top part. So the plane where the fold is, that's going to be your top side. So that's one piece done. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. Next, we're going to take a piece with the patterned ribbon. And this time we're going to do the same steps, but the opposite direction. The hearts are the correct way up. Pick that up. And this time we're going to bring that in and up and line it up. And just pin that in place. And then we're going to fold this piece back, bring it through that loop there, 
like that and then bring that up lining those edges up making sure this top is all lined up and this side here is lined up putting that in place I'm also just going to bring this clip over all pieces as well and then again flip that over and this is going to be the top of your bow I'm going to set that side also and as you can see they're now opposites and we're going to do the exact same now with these other two pieces pick it up fold it back twist it up lining this edge up with this edge and these top pieces in line In place, folding the plain piece back, popping it through this loop and then twisting it upwards and lining that up as well. Pinning that into place. there as well to hold it in place flipping it over and that's another loop done and our final piece picking it up the opposite way folding it twisting it Line it up. Fold this piece back through the hole. Twist it upwards. Line it up. So now we're ready to sew our bow. I just want to show you how to line these up so you can sew them in the correct order to put them together. So first of all, taking a piece where the black swirls round, so it comes through the hole and it swirls round to the right and this lovely heart ribbon comes round to the left and the fold here is on the top. We're going to lay that down there and the next piece you want to get is an opposite piece and you're going to lay that opposite that one so this time we've got the heart piece on the right and this fold with the black coming round to the left so they're together like this and then you want to do the same again so you want the piece with the fold so it's exactly the same piece as this one basically so the black piece is swirling round to the right that goes next and then the third and final piece which isn't quite lined up I'll have to redo that in a second that's going to be last so this is how you want it sitting and these edges along this bottom are where we're going to sew. So we're going to start with this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. So they're all in order. So this is how you want them laid out in this pattern. So I've got my needle and double strength thread already knotted at the end. So I've just realigned this bit because that was a bit 
misaligned where I pinned it. So taking your first piece, so that was laying here like this, I've just picked it up and I'm holding it this way because that's how I find it easier to hold, to sew. And I like to sew from left to right. So we're going to sew from this outer corner, this fold, in this way. So I'm just going to keep this pinched together with my fingers while I remove this clip. And I'm going to go in through this outer corner, making sure I catch all of those layers. like that. So that's one stitch, two, three, four, and then the fifth one, you're going to come out where these corners meet up. So that's number five. And then I'm just gonna pop this pin out to make it easier, this is in the way. And the sixth stitch, we're going to come out just beside where these corners are, around a half an inch, like that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to pick up the next piece, which is opposite to this piece. So this time we're going to start stitching again from left to right, but this time we're going from this inner corner. So around, like we did this one, around a half a centimeter from those corners here. We're going to go in for our first stitch. So that's one. I'm not going to pull it completely tight because We'll do that last and then in through all of those inner corners, two, three, move this clip while I keep my finger there to pinch that together, three, four, five, and then catching all of those last corners for six. So this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to bring these two together for now, just so I'm not having to bring all four pieces together. So I'm going to pull this tight to form the pinch on that first half of the bow. So I'm bringing those all together and when I'm happy that that's tight enough, I'm just going to seal off this outer corner where the cotton comes out. On this one, I'm just going to go into that loop to form a knot just to hold that half in place. And now continuing with the same piece of cotton and in the same pattern as we've laid it out, we're going to do the same steps with these other two pieces. So this time again, we're starting from this outer corner. So I'm just going to remove that first clip, making sure I catch all of those outer corners together for my first stitch. One, two, three, four, making sure all of these edges are lined up, five, remove that pin, half a centimetre away from that inner corner, for six, I'm just going to let that sit there whilst we get our last piece and this time we're working from this inner corner so half a centimeter away from this plain edged ribbon for one 
remove the clip. Catching those corners for number two. Three, four, five. Let's remove that pin and then making sure I catch all of those corners on my last stitch. Six. So this one is continuing from this piece of ribbon and it goes around to this piece and then this half is going to join with the other half. So I'm just going to pull this side tight to begin with. And again, what I like to do is once that's tight, seal off that edge so I don't have to struggle to keep that pinched in place. That's already tied off for me. And then what I can do then is flip that upside down and we can go in through the other side to bring those edges together. And then on this underside, I'm just going to go in through this half, out through the other half and I'm just basically bringing them in, closing in them two halves together. So in this side, out through the opposite side, making sure I'm not catching those loops. And then I'm just going to seal that off by going in once, in twice, and then not pulling this loop completely tight because I want to form a knot by going in through that loop a couple of times to form my knot. And I'm just going to cut off any little excess pieces of thread and then we just need to shape our bow. I like to bring these to pieces so they're kind of sitting up like that. And then you can see that starting to take shape. Bring these inner pieces together, have these pieces standing up like that. And there you can see what kind of shape this bow makes. It's absolutely gorgeous. And now we can join this onto our tails. So taking our tails or our spikes that we made earlier and a hot glue gun, I'm going to place some hot glue in the middle of my spikes. And then take my bow, I'm going to line those up and place on top of my spikes. like that and then the clip I'm using today this is a 55 millimeter toothed clip and I've already lined it with some match and black ribbon this is a 10 millimeter wide ribbon and I just wrapped it around my clip and that just hides that hardware that's optional you don't have to do that but that's what I like to do personally so I'm just sticking that on the underside of my tails And then taking my one centimetre or 10 millimetre wide ribbon again, I'm just going to heat seal that end. And I'm going to start wrapping this around the centre of my bow. So I'm starting on the bottom of the clip. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit in the centre of that bow, just to make sure that none of that 
stitching pops out from the edges. That will keep covered. And then again under the clip. Back round again. I like to do it twice at least. And then just trim off where you need it. Heat seal that edge. And then just finish it off under that clip. And then you could leave your bow like that. That is absolutely stunning, just as it is. But I've got some little glitter hearts. I bought these craft stickers. They're available in all different colours. I've got silver ones, gold ones. I just got these from my local craft shop. Or if you've got a little heart die, you could cut your own out. And I'm going to stick one of these in the centre. Now these are just made from a chunky glitter, but what I'm going to do is, they're already sticky on the back, I'm going to stick it onto a piece of felt in red to match the heart, and then I'm going to cut around it, and this will just help give that a little bit more thickness and sturdiness to it. run my lighter around the edges just to get rid of any little fluffy bits of felt. And then I'm going to stick that in the centre of my bow. So I'm just going to use some hot glue and just pop that in that centre there. Now if you wanted to make sure this holds in place, you could pop a little bit of glue just in between these loops here, just to hold them in place like that so they don't drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my all-purpose glue for that. And just on these inner corners here, I'm just going to pop a little dot of my glue and then I'm just going to bring those together and that will just stop those loops from keep coming out of place. And the same with the other side. just stop those from falling flat so much and there you have your finished hair bow I absolutely love this shape it's absolutely gorgeous I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today if you've got any questions pop them into the comments below and as always I'll do my best to get back to you thank you for watching everyone bye bye <laughs>